Let me take you to Korea with a kimchi fried rice today. As a child, we used to visit a lot of Pan-Asian restaurants, at least once a week. One thing which I always loved, and I had a whole plate to myself, was fried rice. <laughs> There was one condiment on that table, on the lazy Susie. You know that little turntable in old Chinese restaurants, which turns around where you have the, all these condiments? It's called the lazy Susie. Now, there were many condiments there. I mean, there were, there was two kinds of soya sauce. There was like a black bean paste. There was a fried red chili paste. There was chili vinegar. Then there was something very funny, which I never liked. But there was one red condiment, which was briny, which was salty, which was kind of sour, oily. It was very, very funky. And it was called kimchi. All this while, until I actually started going to culinary school and then traveling, I always thought kimchi was Chinese. But guess what? Kimchi was Korean. And Korea is kimchi and kimchi is Korea. That's how big kimchi is in Korea. I mean, it's a condiment for everything. So I try and combine kimchi in a lot of ways. Like sometimes I blend it with mayonnaise and I do a kimchi mayo for a sandwich as well. Sometimes I blend the kimchi and I marinate vegetables in kimchi and I grill them as well. But today I'm going to be making my favorite dish, which is like very quick to do. So let's cook some kimchi fried rice today. Now let's start making our base for the fried rice. Now, the kimchi has so much flavor that I consider itself an indispensable condiment in the kitchen. In fact, the kimchi is so popular, it is actually Korea's national dish. I didn't even know that until I started traveling. In the 19s, there was a very, very big pop artist who sang this song. I can't even remember the name of the song. But the words were that one of my best wishes to have a girlfriend who makes the best kimchi. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blitz up some ginger and garlic and one chili into my blender along with a little bit of kimchi. Ginger, few cloves of garlic, some of this glorious kimchi, which I made yesterday. Oh, look at that. Yes. Some soya sauce. Just a little bit of sesame oil as well. Beautiful. Some nice fresh coriander. One green chili. And definitely just a dash of some vegetable oil. Brilliant. So this becomes really funky, flavorful base for my fried rice. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. This is a beauty. So a little bit of vegetable oil, just a few onions to begin with. So we nicely, lightly brown the onions. So it gives a really nice flavor. Not too much though. And then normally what I would have done, I would have put ginger, I would have put garlic, I would have put soy sauce, but this is like a really cool way to blend everything or chop everything. And now I'm going to be adding it into this, okay? So just a little bit. Oh yeah. So there's a lot of flavor here. You've got the kimchi. Kimchi by itself has like about eight or nine ingredients. It's got oil, it's got salt, it's got chilies, it's got like a bean paste. Ooh, amazing. So now we're going to be adding our rice. I've got some steamed rice over here, a little bit of salt. So our fried rice is almost ready. Fantastic. So we have some nice spring onion greens, which we're going to add into this. So, we're going to put 
the fried rice here on the side. And why don't we fry a nice egg, put it on the top, so it becomes a complete meal. So some lovely fried rice ready with this lovely kimchi flavor. A nice fried egg on the top of it. Very rustic, very nice. We have some spring onions all around. We have a bit of carrots. Some of our lovely mixture here. Some spring onions on the top. And maybe some nice red chilies. Beautiful. I'm normally a giver, not a taker. I'm a lover and I'm not a fighter. I will share everything with you, including my darkest secrets and my childhood memories. But I'm sorry, today this is my time and this is my dish. So I'm not going to be sharing this with anyone today. This is for me.